Ladies, welcome back to Formal Therapy. This is the Culture Study. I am the video channel producer. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out cards. Bomb, bomb. I am super stoked for this. I am a huge card fan. I have been following them since their pre debut. And honestly, I'm really excited to check this out. It's been a while. I was a little bit lukewarm on Ride on the Wind. So for me, I'm really hoping that this lives up to the hype. And before we get into the music video, I just want to say this video is brought to you by our brand new Form of Therapy merch. Uh, if you want to support our channel, support what we do, you can go to teespring.com slash stores slash FOT dash spring, and you can cop one of our new spring collection merches. I actually designed these myself. It's got a front print, a back print, and a sleeve print, and those are available in two styles, a Japanese version and a Korean version. The Japanese sleeve print says, it was as painful as I thought, and the Korean sleeve print says, but it was wonderful. So go ahead and get what you want. They're available in hoodies, uh, long sleeves, hats, beanies, Check them out. Uh, greatly appreciate your guys' support. But it's completely optional. Don't worry about it. Let's just jump right into the music video. This is your form of therapy. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh, Jacob's hair. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Very different uh, tone than I thought this was going for because the opening was so dark and intense. Oh my god, Jason starting out a song? I'm all about it. Oh. Wait a minute. Homin's doing the pre-chorus? With j -Sef? Okay, hold on. What's going on? BM's not gonna get the chorus, is he? No! They actually did it! Oh my god! God, this man is gorgeous. His lyrics! Interesting. Jacef. Jacef has such an interesting part in this song. Oh my god. Okay, I like the I like the fact that the um the bridge doesn't really slow down in tone. It's still I mean the instrumental is a lot more hollowed out than the verse, but it's still got uh the same rhythm. I really like bridges that do that. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's more. Oh, just glamour shots? I see. It was just an excuse to get one final shot of topless BM. I approve.
That was a wild ride. They really switched it up this time around. Just the tone of the song, it's a lot more boisterous. It's a little bit more intense, darker, um, but that main hook, that hook, I'm not a fan of that hook. It sounds like a weird screeching horn. I don't I don't know how to describe it. It just, it, it, it was weird for me. I, and honestly, I would have probably preferred more bass and like a richer sound in the chorus, but that's just my personal taste. I still think this song was fucking awesome. And I'm actually like kind of really obsessed with the structure of this song than the video itself. I mean, the video is gorgeous, don't get me wrong. It is fucking beautiful. I actually tend to focus on the video a lot more than I do on the audio, but here's the thing about Card. Card, I feel like, has put out some interesting, very forward-thinking, progressive music since the very beginning. There are some people who will disagree with me on that, but that's just my personal opinion. And a lot of people accuse Card of doing the same thing, but first of all, they don't do the same thing. They just have a sound. They have a very distinct sound and they keep with that sound and that style. Nobody accuses Wuju Sonya of doing the same thing, you know, but Wuju Sonya has a consistent sound. Seventeen has a consistent sound. BTS has consistent Everyone has consistent sound, but I feel like people just want a reason to bag on a group. But I have pointed out that the structure of their songs are very similar. I don't mind the sound. I actually really like Card sound, but I remember, I think way, way, way back when, this might have been even like in the first year of their debut, I was fantasizing about can you imagine what if like you know Sumin and Chiwu did like the verses and like what if BM and JSEF did the chorus and the way this song started out I start off with JSEF starting off the song which I thought was interesting um, it's usually one of the vocalists or BM it mixed in with Chiwu and so JSEF and Chiwu did the first verse and the pre-chorus being done by Sumin and then the chorus largely handled by BM this is a major switch up because I feel like usually the first verse is either always BM or JSEF and then the second verse is BM or JSEF, whoever didn't go the first time. And then the pre-chorus is Chiwu, then the chorus is Homin, and that's kind of how it always goes, I feel like, or the chorus sometimes mixes in Chiwu as well. But the fact that the chorus is largely led by BM, I think Homin has like one line, but it is BM's chorus. It is a completely different beast. It sets a very different tone. It still has the card sound, but it's very different, and I think it's impossible to say Card is doing the same thing with this song. And I've also pondered the thought of Jacef doing a more melodic rapping and I feel like here with the auto-tune he was going for a more melodic rapping mixed in with Chiwu it was a very interesting pairing you know because it's usually Chiwu and Swimming singing together but to have the male and female artists contrast each other in the pre-chorus uh, I thought that was very interesting. I thought it made the song a lot more dynamic. I think this song is very dynamic. Despite how kind of hollowed out the chorus kind of is, I think this song is one of the more interesting car title tracks. Um, certainly not my favorite. I, I, don't, I don't think it's easy to beat uh, You and Me. You and Me is my personal favorite card title track but this song is still, it's phenomenal. After listening to this, and I'm gonna be listening to their album as well, I kinda think it's time for Card to do another US tour. They did a US tour literally like, I think, right before their debut because they had so much hype during their pre-debut project, but now they've had a couple albums under their belts, they've got way more songs. I think it would be really dope if Card came back to the US because I would actually really like to see Bomb Bomb on stage, but um, the visual aesthetic of this music video was also fantastic. Um, so I mean just every shot she was in, she looked like a goddess. Oh my god, the imagery in this music video, it was it was largely a very warm tone music video, but the few colors they added in, it was especially during uh, Swimming's part and uh, Jacef's part. She looked gorgeous. Chiwu, my god, stunning. I feel like Chiwu every comeback is always trying to like fight for my favorite role, uh, because my favorite is actually not Tomin, my favorite is actually BM, and as a appreciator of BM, and as he so succinctly put it in his recent V-Life, that got their V-Life shut down, <laughs> um, as an appreciator of the man titties. Ooh. He served it up this time. I kind of wish and I do hope that they put out maybe like a solo part for BM's part, because I feel like I don't know. I don't know if that was supposed to be Haka or if it was just, you know, just that one move that kind of looked like it, but 
that looked really interesting and I would actually love to see uh, more of it. But yeah, this was a fantastic comeback. I really like Bomb Bomb. But what do you guys think? Let me know what you thought about Cards Bomb Bomb music video and the song in the comments down below. Also, thank you guys for your support and watching our videos. If you would like to support our endeavors more here on Forma Therapy, go to patreon.com slash Forma Therapy. You get early access to videos like this and more. Uh, however, if you can't support us monetarily, that's completely fine. Why don't you go ahead and just click like down below right there. It helps us out with YouTube search algorithm. Go ahead and click subscribe. Be notified when we upload a new video and go ahead and check out all our other videos over here or here. No, sorry. The end card, wherever.